Hey guys, what I'm doing right here now is all I'm doing is outlining my stencil onto my metal that I will be using to make this knife and giving it a uh, profile. Right here guys, what I'm doing is using my four and a half inch angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to remove the excess material guys this is my first time using a mic so bear with me and uh, as always like share subscribe what I'm doing right here guys is I'm using my 1x30 Harbor Freight belt sander to again sand off the material that I will not be needing in the end result of the knife I'm just giving it the good profile and uh, removing the excess material this process is a very time consuming very tedious part of the a nice building job there's a wide variety of belt sanders that people use and this is probably one of the lowest scale sanders uh, you can buy they make them with a lot more power you know and you can really put the pressure to it and really remove that excess material this particular belt sander you've got to be real patient with it and uh, you cannot apply too much pressure because it just bogs down what I'm doing here guys is I'm using my micro meter to mark where I want to put these holes and this is a hole puncher and all this does is punch a hole where I want to drill holes and what this is is it allows that drill bit like pinpoint accuracy where to drill because if you don't mark the holes before you drill your drill bit will start walking and you won't get the accurate holes that you want so that's all that is right here I'm just kind of giving the, the uh, knife that I'm making a design using a hand file here guys to uh, again remove more material I'm using the Dremel to kind of give all the material that I removed a smooth finish edge and right here guys I'm heating up the steel and I'm getting ready to quench it I'm getting ready to dip it in cold oil and it's going to cool it down very very fast and what that does is it makes soft metal hard and that allows you and your knife to, to hold a good edge right here guys I'm scribing my knife that way I know how high to make my bevels and to me this is the hardest part 
of a knife build is getting your bevels on both sides of the knife accurate and straight. You can see I'm using the back of a hammer handle as a guide. And I will say this is probably the straightest bevel I have to date. Guys, I am very, very impressed with this knife and uh, two, three. used a little camera magic there. The handle it's something you don't really see on a lot of knives. This is something new I've started to do on my last couple builds. Right here, guys, I'm just giving this knife the finished polish. And there it is. There's the finished product, guys. Guys, I hope you like it. And uh, many more builds to come. I'm new at this. Guys, uh, like, share, subscribe. I give a hundred dollars away every month on the 20th and uh, guys thank you very much for coming and watching my video and being a part of the channel we'll see you on the next one guys